Hey YouTube, uh, this video is going to be about how you create a pluck sound in the FreeVST BR808. I'm currently using the beta version of FL Studio 12, uh, but the BR808 is a FreeVST that works for just about any DAW program. So the first thing that you notice about BR808 is that it has a very pad sort of feel. You know, it's, the notes are very connected, very smooth. Um, but if you want to make a pluck sound, then you have to change up the envelope quite a bit. Um, just right here. That's the default sound for BR-808. You almost always want to turn up the volume uh, just right here, Instruments Global. And click on Voice. Um, right next to Oscillators, you can change up the envelope. Um, with the envelope, you want to have a very, very short release. I like to just take it down to one. The sustain, if you have a very large sustain, then the notes just don't end. Um, if you want to change the sustain down to something real low, I like about three. Three is about good. Then the decay, um, with the decay, you can play around with that quite a bit. Um, if, you, if it's about one millisecond, then You'll almost hear kind of like a popping sound with the notes here, like this. Just, you know, at the beginning of the note where it's just a little popping sound. If it's the decay is really short, then you'll get that. But I kind of like it just a little bit longer, almost like 40 to 50 milliseconds. Um, and then the attack. The attack is really a personal preference. I generally prefer it to be a very quick, short, and aggressive uh, attack. So here's what it sounds like right now. And for those who didn't catch it, I changed the waveform right here to just a sawtooth up. Um, so yeah, this is the basics on how to create a pluck sound in BR-808. You can also have some fun and create a second oscillator um, just using additive synthesis. Uh, I'll change it to like, like a pulse. And then you want to change the envelope for the second oscillator also. Very short sustain, release, small decay, and small attack. So here's what it sounds like now. So there you go, that's the basics on how you create a pluck sound in the program, or the VST BR-808. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up and comment. Uh, thanks for watching.